Hi, so this video is about how to use a notebook in ceramics. So I want to just show you a few artists and their sketchbooks. So this is from a woman, Gabriella Gabo Martini, and I really like her style. I like that she adds a little bit of color and she's not just drawing um, vases and ceramic stuff. You know, she has other things in her sketchbook, which is just perfectly fine. So here is another sketchbook from Grayson Perry, and I just like the color and, you know, there's some words, there's some drawings, uh, really nice work. Here's another uh, nice one where it has some images and some words, and it's maybe watercolor, I'm not exactly sure. This one's called Notes on Phil Rogers. I think this is by Joseph Travis, I'm not exactly sure, but I liked it as an example of simple drawings and words as well. Here's another example, actually a student example from high school and I like that it has pictures and so you could either print out pictures or if you find a magazine or something like that um, and then notes along with it. So really like this would be something where you look up some inspiration um, from an artist and put some of their images down that really inspire you and then you can see that they are um, like right in the middle here they're drawing their ideas based on this inspiration in addition you might take pictures of your own work and put it in there either in progress or when it's finished and like this one says I finally did it I've been thinking about making blah 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 for a really long time and so this is the kind of thing that I am gonna expect that you do here's some more again these are high school artists there's that extreme colander as well They're kind of fun so let's go back to our sketchbook and I want to show you how to draw and annotate it and how to um, take notes. And so this is a composition journal with blank paper instead of lined paper and I will give you something like this. Maybe you have your own journal or a sketchbook that you want to use too, that's fine. And on the cover it just needs to have your name that's really it if you want to make it pretty you can um, if you want to put stickers on it you can I got this sticker when I got a new wheel and then I will be having you take notes in the class I will be having you do some drawings for your assignments and so everything's gonna go in the notebook and then when you need to upload to canvas you just take a picture of that page in the notebook you can see I have printed things out and put put them tape them in or you can use like um, glue stick for example this here is some notes that I was planning for um, my art one class so or my cer ceramics one class so um, this is notes that I learned from Laura and Becky actually down at Bruning and I have some drawings and some um, information so you can see that I had just have a lot of different things in here um, and you can tape these pieces of paper in you can make lists you can put measurements so like this is going to be an assignment that we are going to do and here's my drawings for it here's actually me planning out this class for next semester and my ideas brainstorms that kind of thing so when you are drawing if I ask you to make some drawings um, you're going to draw the forms but you're also going to put in things like the measurements here so using lines to show the the top and bottom part and using arrows and then using measurements like that okay um, also using words or annotating um, so like here this goes back to the height so that would probably be about 2.5 inches um, but also using words like so it doesn't even have to be a sentence that's a sentence um, 
getting your ideas down. So that's drawing things is really, really important. Drawing out, drawing in three dimensions. You don't have to be a really good drawer. You can just, you know, draw as best as you can. You can also use stencils. I have some circle stencils that might be helpful for you. You can use a ruler or not, um, but this is idea generating. If you were to take notes, there's a couple different ways that you can take notes, but in this class, I want you to put the title of whatever we're learning up top and maybe the date over here. And then I'm going to have you draw a line about a quarter of the way across. And you're going to take all of the bulk of your notes in here, right in here. And then when you go back, you're going to pull out the main ideas and you're going to put the main ideas here. And that is considered like a Cornell notes, but it's a really awesome way to um, help you learn. And then you can use things like highlighters to highlight the important information, maybe to study. Um, you can draw in the notes section. Um, maybe if you find something uh, that is applicable, you could glue it or paste it in there. So that's how we're going to take notes, this Cornell. And this is how we're going to draw out our ideas. So I just wanted to give you a little um, heads up on this and get you thinking. I did put a pocket in the back that I can show you how to make so that if you have big things, um, you can slip them in. I probably will make anything that I want you to put in your notebook. If I print something out, I will probably make it um, the correct size to just glue in. It won't be this big like this. Um, I will cut it down for you so that it can just be printed out and glued in. All right, so that is using a notebook in ceramics class. Thanks. See you in the next video. Bye.